this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my moisturizing, hydrating olive oil shea butter. This is really healing for my skin. It is antibacterial and it just promotes a lot of hydration to the skin. First, I'm just cleaning off my stovetop to have a clean, sanitary space to work with. I'm just using dish soap and a slightly abrasive sponge just to get off any baked on food particles or crumbs and just make sure I have a nice clean spotless surface for when I make this shea butter. butter off of Amazon. This is just African shea butter and it comes in a big tub like this. This is unrefined, unprocessed shea butter. It is completely natural. So I'm just going to be opening up this container and measuring out a little bit of this butter with a scale. So I'm going to be heating up some water here. I will be melting the shea butter with a double boiler method in which I will be adding a measured out amount of the shea butter onto a glass bowl and then I will place the glass bowl in the heated water so it can melt the shea butter on top. I'm then going to be adding in some olive oil as well as some orange essential oil just to add a little bit of a scent and that is going to complete my shea butter lotion recipe. <laughs> my shea butter and olive oil together in the bowl, I'm just going to place that bowl in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes to an hour. While that is cooling off and the oil and butter is hardening, 
I'm going to be preparing some of this hyaluronic acid serum but I just wanted to add some distilled water into the hyaluronic acid serum that I had already made just to thin it out and make it easier to apply to the skin and less sticky. So if you guys want to see how I made this DIY hyaluronic acid serum that is a great moisturizer for the skin, just see the link below. I will have it down there. After it's been about 45 minutes, I, I took the olive oil and shea butter mixture out of the refrigerator and I began to whip it up with this electric mixer here. Once you have it to the desired consistency that you want it, you're going to have to scrape it out from the beaters or whatever utensil you used to mix this up. And then we're going to be transferring it to a leftover olive jar that I had. I tend to save these olive jars because they make for great containers for this lotion. So I'm just going to be adding that in and filling up this jar. And this is what I will be using for my body butter for the rest of the month. That is going to be it for this DIY shea butter recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed this very simple yet so worth it recipe using very simple and natural ingredients. I hope everyone is doing well and enjoying the start of the spring season. I have been having a blast just focusing on school and some exams, but now I have a little spring break, so I will be editing some videos for you guys.